we made it faster. Um, it's two and a half minutes for per block as opposed to 10 minutes for Bitcoin. Um, the general idea was to kind of complement Bitcoin. Um, I saw it as, I, I kind of marketed it as silver to Bitcoin's gold. I see um, Litecoin and Bitcoin working side by side. And so this is not a competing cryptocurrency effectively. You actually really do see it as a symbiotic relationship. I do, um, but it's in some sense it's competing, right? It's competing for mind share, definitely. Um, it's a different coin. So if people using Litecoin, um, they may not use Bitcoin. So it does compete a little bit, but I, I, I see it more as a complementary. I saw Bitcoin as a better version of, of gold, actually a better form of money than that we've ever seen. Um, and that just captured my attention. I've always um, understood how gold and silver were used in, in throughout history as, as money and how, um, how we came to the fiat currencies we have today. And I, I just saw Bitcoin as just kind of very similar to gold, but better. And it could actually replace the current monetary system. Um, and I also understood like the, the math and the cryptography behind it. Um, so I guess really captured my attention. Crypto family, welcome back to the channel. Aaron here from the Bitcoin Bros going back at you with another cryptocurrency video today. And in today's clip, we're going to be talking about Litecoin. We've been having some comments on some of our past recent videos over the past couple months. People asking us for Litecoin. Why haven't we been making LTC videos? We really didn't talk much about the altcoins during the bear market on our channel. We were really just making videos towards Bitcoin because Litecoin and a lot of the other altcoins did underperform Bitcoin in the bear market. But that's kind of why we haven't been talking about it. We're going to be getting into why Litecoin's price could actually have a move to the upside here very soon, looking at some on-chain data. Going over what other people in the community are saying about Litecoin might be a little bearish here on LTC, a little bullish, a little bearish. I'll give you guys all my thoughts. So make sure to stay tuned for that. We'll look at some technical analysis as well. Let's go ahead and jump into it here. So this is actually really interesting. Checking out Litecoin over on Glassnode. This is all on-chain data. If you do want to sign up for Glassnode, there is a link in the description for that. And you can see right here, back on January 8th, 9th, and 10th, there were a massive amount of new Litecoin addresses coming online. And I know in the past, we haven't really seen that lead to price gains. If you look at this peak up over here and this little peak over here, we really haven't seen any price gains because of that. But this is the biggest peak we've seen here. I mean, that's over 600,000 new addresses just in one day. So if we look at the total addresses for Litecoin in January, it just started to go parabolic up to around 250,000 addresses as of right now. So that's a lot of parabolic growth. We could see the price here go to the upside because of some of this growth in wallet address. I guess to see if the price moves to the upside or downside, that is yet to be seen. And then looking at T2R, he says, Litecoin still here to stay. Value doubled compared to five years ago. Still holding value with this much dilution in the crypto space. Litecoin is also a store of value. And I would agree with T2R here. It has not performed as good as Bitcoin and some of the other cryptos like Ethereum in the space. But as you can see, over the past five years, Litecoin has doubled, which is really good to see. So it does show you there that Litecoin has value and is probably better than holding dollars. I mean, anything's better than holding dollars, especially when you're losing so much to inflation. We have people over on Reddit asking, what value is Litecoin adding these days? So going over to what Master BTC LTC has to say, he says Litecoin is the most undervalued asset in the world. Litecoin's master Litecoin network value model ranges from $1,500 to $5,000 with an upward projection of $27,000 a day. I mean, he's super bullish. Push the bullish major ascending triangle and the symmetrical triangle over the past three years from a technical perspective is giving signals of a major price expansion in this cycle. Now, couple this with hidden Elon tweets about Litecoin and the fact that Dogecoin is merged mined with Litecoin. Then add in the aspect that Charlie has created the perfect opposite game theory to Satoshi Nakamoto. Litecoin is the better Bitcoin hiding in plain sight. So definitely like Master BTC LTC, but I have to disagree here. Litecoin, I 
think outperforms Bitcoin in this next bull market. That's why we're making this video. By not much, though. I don't think it's going to overperform Bitcoin by a lot. And this is just my honest opinion, guys. When you look at the trends of where crypto is going and the narratives and what people are interested in. Litecoin's narrative to me, when I think about it, is the silver to Bitcoin's gold. And you have Litecoin MWEB, which gives it the privacy function for Litecoin. And really right now, guys, that is it for Litecoin. Maybe we get a Litecoin ETF. Maybe we don't. We saw the Bitcoin ETF. There really hasn't been much talk about a Litecoin ETF. And to me, it does make sense that Litecoin is a commodity because Bitcoin is a commodity and Ethereum might not be a commodity and Solana might not be a commodity. And all these other crypto DeFi projects like Cardano, those might be securities. If that happens, I think Litecoin gets more value. But the way the crypto space is moving is looking like a lot of these crypto assets are going to be deemed commodity like Ethereum, like Solana. They're talking about a potential Ethereum ETF BlackRock filed for one a couple of months ago. So if that goes through, I actually think that's bearish for Litecoin, guys. So I know I'm going to get some hate for saying this, but saying Litecoin is better than Bitcoin, hiding in plain sight, I think is just not true, especially when the creator of Litecoin himself says that, hey, 21 million Bitcoins ever in existence. There isn't even enough Bitcoin to go around for every millionaire to own. So before you buy any other coin, LTC included, try to own at least one Bitcoin first. Once you have one Bitcoin, you can buy all the S coins you want. This is from the creator of Litecoin himself. So, I mean, take it for what it is, guys. Bitcoin is the king of the space. There's a Bitcoin ETF. I think you should definitely have some Bitcoin in your portfolio. Don't go all in on any altcoin that's Litecoin included because Litecoin could become like some of those older cryptos that we never hear of anymore. If there's not a new narrative for it in the future, if people don't start to find some value in investing in it. I know we see a lot of the new addresses coming in, but just having a long-term view, Bitcoin seems like it's going to be around, and maybe Ethereum, maybe Solana, maybe some of these other DeFi projects. And Litecoin may be around as well, but will it outperform Bitcoin? If you look, basically since 2017, Litecoin has underperformed Bitcoin, and it's not really even been close. And I was talking about MWeb earlier. I do think this gives Litecoin a lot of utility, the biggest privacy crypto in the space. This could definitely help Litecoin coming into this next bull run, maybe even potentially get back into the top 10. And then here's some technical analysis from Luis. He says, we are in a descending triangle here, double bottom pattern playing out here with a potential break to the upside for Litecoin. And this is against USDT. So that's pretty good to see there. And I think Litecoin will have some price gains in this bull market. Guys, don't kill me too bad in the comment section because I said Bitcoin is better than Litecoin. I'm not saying Litecoin is not going to have price gains. I do think Litecoin will do decently in this bull run. But I do want to show you guys this over the long term. To me, this chart looks very, very bearish. If you look at Litecoin from 2018 of January, this is when Litecoin really had the massive momentum it was one of the only cryptos on Coinbase. Everybody was buying it. It went from like $4 all the way up to, I think, $180, $200. And a lot of people were making a lot of money on Litecoin. Since that happened, Litecoin has been making lower lows after lower low, after lower low, after lower low, after lower low. And we're at the lowest point right now against Bitcoin. It's trending to zero against Bitcoin since 2017. That's seven years. And it doesn't seem like the trend is changing. So I'm hoping I'm wrong for all you Litecoin holders out there, but I do think Bitcoin is a better long-term store of value than LTC. LTC may outperform in this bull market. It may have a little bit of a move to the upside here, but I think over the long term, we may see this same trend continue and Litecoin may trend to zero against BTC. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Feel free to disagree with me. Hit the like button if you found any value in today's video. My name is Aaron from the Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.